coupling between neighboring protons causes peaks in H and MR spectra to be split into multiplets, little clusters of peaklets. This spacing between the lines of a multiplet, how far apart they are, is a measure of the strength of the coupling interaction and is quantified by a value called the coupling constant, or J value, which is measured in hertz. J values depend on a number of factors. First, they depend on proximity, the number of bonds between an observed proton and its neighbor. Two, prote two protons that are attached to the same carbon are separated by two bonds and are called geminal, like the zodiac sign Gemini for twins. Protons on adjacent carbons are separated by three bonds and are called vicinal, from the same etymological root as the word vicinity. Sometimes protons four, five, or even six bonds away can also cause coupling, though this is pretty rare. It's referred to as long-range coupling. The number of bonds separating two coupled protons is sometimes seen as a superscript preceding the J. The next factor that influences J values is geometry. In general, J values are at a maximum when the two coupled protons are anti or sin to one another, and at a minimum when they are orthogonal or 90 degrees from one another. This is called the Karplus relationship after Martin Karplus, one of the three Nobel Prize winning chemists I've had the luck to meet. We won't be concerned with the details of this relationship. Differences in J values can be used to help us determine stereochemical and spatial relationships between hydrogens within a molecule, because different ranges of J values are found for different arrangements of neighboring protons. Vicinal protons on adjacent sp3 hybridized carbons, the most common sort of relationship in organic molecules, typically have 3J values between 6 and 8 hertz. Geminal protons on the same sp3 carbon have widely variable 2J values, anywhere from 0 to 22 hertz. It's actually rare to see this sort of coupling because two, proto two protons on the same sp3 carbon are usually identical, but once in a while they may be distinguishable, like the axial and equatorial hydrogens on a particular carbon in a locked cyclohexane chair conformation, for example. Two protons that are trans to each other, attached to sp2 carbons, typically have large 3J coupling constants of about 11 to 18 hertz, while two protons that are cis have smaller 3J values from 6 to about 14 hertz. These coupling constants are often used to distinguish E and Z alkenes. Two geminal protons attached to the same sp2 carbon have even tinier 2J values, usually less than 3 Hz. Finally, long-range coupling is often seen in aromatic rings, most commonly 4J coupling between hydrogens that are meta to one another. Because of the relatively large distance between the protons, this is usually quite small, 1 to 3 hertz. Rarely, even longer range coupling, such as 5J coupling, is also observed in aromatic rings. Let's look at a few common coupling patterns. These are very helpful in identifying particular structural motifs within molecules. Ethyl groups show a particular pattern of an upfield triplet for the three CH3 hydrogens, and a downfield quartet for the two CH2 hydrogens. An isopropyl group shows an upfield doublet for the six equivalent CH3 hydrogens, and a downfield septet for the single hydrogen in the middle. A t-butyl group has a large singlet for all nine of the equivalent hydrogens. Arenes typically show complicated clusters of overlapping peaks near 7 ppm because there are many overlapping multiplets 
all in the same vicinity. But para-disubstituted benzene rings often show two clear, distinct doublets, one for the two equivalent hydrogens in red, the other for the two equivalent hydrogens in blue. Finally, vinyl groups and monosubstituted epoxides give similar sets of peaks, though in different regions of the spectrum since the carbons are differently hybridized. Because of the different sizes of the coupling constants between the three distinct hydrogens, we get unique peaks called doublets of doublets for each individual hydrogen, and the spacings between the lines are characteristic of the hydrogens in particular locations. 